So I'm just going to apologize in advance here because the comic books that I have read with Captain Marvel in them, she was always called Miss Marvel. I never read the comic books where she was revamped and became a captain. I call her Miss Marvel, okay? I don't know her as Captain Marvel. She's Miss Marvel to me. I'm fucking sorry. Also, fun fact, it's my birthday. And here I am, making a video for you by myself. The plot! This is another Marvel origin story. Carol Danvers is living on another planet with the Kree. You know them from Guardians of the Galaxy. This is set in the 90s, nostalgia, she doesn't remember her past, she goes on an adventure, and she figures shit out along the way. And there's villains, and there's fighting, and you get the gist, right? Brie Larson! This isn't the Miss Marvel, ah, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, that I know in the comics. This is a way more fun, charismatic movie version, and I'm actually cool with that. And in the comics, she was never really an interesting character to me, but she was always awesome on an Avengers team. She's a great Avenger. She's a total badass, and she's a powerhouse. Brie Larson, she's an Oscar winner, so her acting is great. With the script that she's been given, she's borderline cheesy throughout the whole movie but she never crosses that line it's just the right amount of cheese for a comic book movie sam jackson hey it's nick fury without an eye patch and looking young what's up that anti-aging technology or whatever they do to make samuel jackson look so young is creepy samuel jackson this is a piece of cake for him he's been playing nick fury for like 10 years however it is nice to see a younger less serious more fun nick fury samuel jackson had some fun with this role and you can tell it was really funny there's also some ongoing questions about nick fury that might get answered in this movie Ben Mendelsohn. I'm not going to go into his character too much because I don't want to spoil anything. But he plays a Skrull. This movie introduces who the Skrulls are. They are shape-shifting, untrustworthy aliens with an agenda. And that's exactly what Ben portrayed in this movie. He was a spot-on Skrull. And I was very happy with this performance. Overall, it's not the best Marvel movie. It's not the worst Marvel movie. But it's definitely a Marvel movie. It's got Marvel written all over that shit. It follows a formula. And yeah, it's good. We've just seen it before. So just reestablishing tropes that we're used to, it comes down to how well they play them out. And I thought they played them out very well. Top caliber actors, acting's great. I thought the action was fun and the CG looked good. I'm all about seeing cosmic space shit and spaceship shooting shit. Check. Something I wasn't quite prepared for was how funny this movie was. It's really funny. They didn't leave enough time for jokes to hit and I found myself missing dialogue because the audience was still laughing. The purpose of this movie is to answer some questions and establish some new elements for future Avengers movies. This movie's kind of a filler movie. So it's not the best Marvel movie, but yeah, it's worth seeing. Rapid Fire Review. Subscribe!